In question one, ABCD is a quadrilateral in which P, Q, R, and S. These points P, Q, R, and S are the midpoints of the sides on which they lie. So, of the sides AB, BC, CD, and DA. AC is a diagonal, so the dotted line that you see in the figure is a diagonal, and we have to show these three parts now. So let's consider the first part. In the first part, we have to show that SR is parallel to AC and SR is equal to half AC. So this can be proven using an application of the midpoint theorem. We are going to apply the midpoint theorem on triangle DAC. So I'm going to highlight this triangle for you, DAC. This is the triangle on which we are going to apply the midpoint theorem. In this triangle, so in triangle D A C the two midpoints that we have are mid, uh, this point S which is the midpoint of D A and this point R which is the midpoint of D C. So let's write S is the midpoint of D A and R is the midpoint of D C. Okay so this means that by the midpoint theorem by the midpoint theorem. What does the midpoint theorem say? The segment joining uh, the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and equal to half of the third side. So the segment joining the two midpoints, in this case, which is SR, must be parallel to the third side, which is AC, and it must be equal to half of AC as well. So SR must be equal to half of AC. So part one is directly proven like this using an application of the midpoint theorem. Now, Let's do part two. In part two, we have to prove that PQ is equal to SR. So PQ is this uh, segment here and SR is this segment here. But to prove this, we will first have to find the relation between PQ and AC. So and to do that, we will apply the midpoint theorem now to triangle BAC. So let me highlight this triangle for you. BAC, we are going to apply the midpoint theorem to this triangle. So what are the two midpoints in this triangle? Um, P is the midpoint of AB and Q is the mid, uh, midpoint of BC. So let's write it in triangle BAC. P is the midpoint of BA, midpoint of BA and Q is the midpoint of BC. And again by the midpoint theorem, so by the midpoint theorem, the segment joining these two midpoints, which is PQ, must be equal to, uh, must be parallel to the third side. So PQ must be parallel to AC and PQ must be equal to half of AC. Now, why did we do this? Well, we have the relationship between SR and AC. And now because we have a relationship between PQ and AC as well, now we can find the relationship between PQ and SR. So we find that both SR and PQ are equal to half of AC. Both of them are equal to half of AC and this means that both of them must be equal to each other also. So from here we can conclude that PQ must be equal to SR. So this is what we had to prove in part 2. So part 2 is also done. Now in part three, we have to prove that PQRS is a parallelogram. And to do that, we can make use of the fact that in a quadrilateral, if one pair of opposite sides uh, are equal and parallel, then the quadrilateral will be a parallelogram. So in this case, because SR and PQ are both parallel to AC, we can uh, claim that SR and PQ are parallel to each other and also like in the previous part, we showed that both SR and PQ are equal to each other also because both of them are equal to half AC. So let's write this out. So in quadrilateral PQRS, in PQRS, we have um, SR and PQ parallel to each other. Why? Because both of them are parallel to half um, uh, parallel to AC because SR is parallel to AC and PQ is also parallel to AC. 
and both of them are equal to each other also so sr and pq are equal to each other because both of them are equal to half ac and this means that we have a pair of sides which is parallel and equal and this means that pq rs must be a parallelogram so this proves part 3 of the question and with this we have completed question number 1 To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.